Hey everyone, welcome in this first video of a new series about uh, OpenTX programmation. So, doesn't matter if you have a Radio Master, a Jumper or Tyranis, as long as it runs on OpenTX, it will work perfectly. So, yeah, it should be all nearly the same screens and the same features and the same names. So, it should be really okay. So, as I said, it will be a series because uh, it will be really too long to explain everything in one video and even in three or four videos it would be too long and too many topics at the same time so i will just do uh, really one or two topics by video to keep it as clear as possible and as short as possible so first part will be voiceover because uh, with the noise of the transmitting module it will be uh, really noisy in the video so only the second part of the video will be with my voice like this. So today this video will be about, as you have seen on the title, programming a simple model, so it will be pretty the starting point, but I think many people need to understand how it works from the basic. So let's go. So first you go into menu and you select a free model. You create a model and then you need to select plane because it's what we need. Then, has your model got an engine? Yes or no? In our case, we need to say yes because maybe it's a motorized glider or a plane. I want to say it like this. Then, select the channel you want on your receiver. So, me, I want channel 1 to be my engine. Has your model got ailerons? Yes or no? Or two channels? And same as engine, then you select the channels. So me, I want two channels because I have uh, two channels for it and it will be better to set it later. Then you need to make sure your channels don't overwrite each other. So select different channels. For flaps, it's exactly the same things as errands, but we don't have flaps. We don't have air brakes either, but same model same uh, menu again as you can tell and then or tails and um, yeah one quick tip if you push page long uh, you go back from to the previous page uh, so yeah that's cool now our tails configuration so standard tail configuration uh, three, two servers for elevator v tail and rudderless so yeah that's the basic we need the basic one uh, with one for elevator, one for rudder, and then select the correct channels for it to not overwrite again uh, some of our previous channels. So that's it, press page, and it, it asks us if we are ready to go, set enter if you are ready to go, and that's it. So now I will just disable the internal module, and yeah, that will be over for my voiceover. And now I can take the voice back here. So, as I showed you already, you just press menu once and you are on your model page. So, a uh, helicopter is not our thing right now. Flight modes, we'll come back to this later on. Uh, in the next video, I think, maybe in two or three videos from this one. So, today we are focusing on this page, so in English it's input and mix. Okay, this is the two page we will focus on today and we will see a tiny bit of the outputs. So, inputs, what is this page for? So, many people think, oh wait, I just set it five channels, why there is only four here? Uh, it's because this is not your channels, this is your inputs. Your inputs, as it's a bit self-explanatory, um, it's your radio, it's not your receiver. So you have here, as you can tell, wait for it, <laughs> your headrons here, this is my headrons stick. So look at this bar there, it move, because I move my headrons. If I want to move my elevator, which is this, I'm in mode 1, it moves, because this is my radio, this is not 
my receiver. So this is where you need to name your, to assign what you are using on your model. So by example, I want to move my pilot or something like this in my scale RC model or something I want to move with something like a slider. Okay, something like this. I will go on a free uh, input like the number five and I will select something. Oh, to select something really easily on a Terence or any open text radio. Just put it blinking like this and then just activate it. By example, I want to drop something. I will just do like my SV here uh, switch. Okay, so now my input is my SB switch. How oh, do I name it? I will name it ABC. Something like this is really simple. I will find it easily. So now this is an input with an E in front of it. Okay, it's really important about that. Then I go in my mix. This is my receiver. Okay, this is the order of my channel on my receiver. So I know my throttle, so which is gas on in French. Um, it's on my channel one. Channel two is my Elrond number one. Channel three is my Elrond number two. As you can tell, it's reversed there because yeah, it's the logic of the Terranis. So yeah, I will show you after that how to reverse easily without doing this there. But I will explain to you why sometimes you need to do it there also. So yeah, it's a bit complicated, but it will be in the next video. So yeah, my minus switch start to not working really well. This radio is six and a half years old and like 2,500 hours of use. So it's, or maybe more. <laughs> yeah, I think way more now. I have, I have lost the tracking of the hours. Um, but yeah, this is the mapping of your channels. So if I go select my channel number six, which is free. I will say, oh, this is my uh, drop door or my landing gear or something like this. I want on this six channel. Okay, so I will just take the source here and now blink it. And it's when I move the same, it will be ABC. And that's it. That's as simple as this now. This switch here will be like this. You see it's uh, in highlight. And here, look, one, minus 100, 0, and 100. So it's as simple like this. It's it's really, really simple. And uh, yeah, it's, it's as simple as this if you want to attribute a channel on your receiver. Then I want to reverse a direction on my servers or something like this. There is two ways, okay? You can do like, okay, this L runs here, which has, which is at minus 100, is reversed. I can go there in ratio and reverse it. So to reverse it, you can do like this and it's really long or just push plus and minus at the same time and it just switch to the reverse number. So if I'm at like a 93 and I do it, it's minus 93 now. And I do it again, it's 93. So just plus and minus at the same time. That's as simple as this to reverse on this side on the mix. But if you want to reverse like only one thing, I will explain this later in the mixer. Uh, because if you have snap flap or something like this and you just want to reverse only the snap flap, it's better to do it in the mix. But if you want to reverse all the servo and not only one part of the mix of this servo, you go just here on the right channel. I was on channel three. And the switch start to die. So and now you just go in direction and on the little arrow here and just click once and it reverses the servo entirely. So not only uh, one of the mix, but all 
the mix by once because the servo is completely reversed. That's it. That's as simple as this. So that's it for today. I want to keep it as short as possible. I think next video will be a bit more about mixes, about things like this. So yeah, subscribe to not miss anything and see you in the next video. Bye.